Hey everybody, welcome back in. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about OBS and uh, how to get your Streamlabs uh, alerts to work properly uh, while you're streaming. So, first thing that we want to get to is to OBS. So, I am currently sharing my OBS setup here. Uh, I do not use Streamlabs OBS. I've always used OBS, but the settings on both Streamlabs OBS and OBS are pretty much the same. So, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is click on the settings tab. The settings tab will then open up uh, a couple different options. You have general stream, output, audio, video, hotkeys, and advanced. Uh, the next thing you want to look, click on is advanced. It takes you to a different tab here. You'll see that it has general video recording stream delay. The one that you want to look for is called sources and it says enable browser source hardware acceleration. What that actually does is it that it enables your GPU to take a lot of the brunt of the work when it comes to OBS. Uh, what you want to do if you're seeing that there's a, a, a more mechanical sound or mechanical noise in Streamlabs OBS or OBS, uh, it's usually because the GPU is trying to, to work a little bit harder than it needs to. So to, to offset that, you want to go ahead and make sure to uncheck because it comes defaulted as enable browser source hardware acceleration it comes already checked off you want to make sure that it is unchecked that way you press apply on the solution and that should help with your OBS Streamlabs uh, alerts or any of the alerts in general. It usually comes through a browser source. So that is what you're trying to do is you're trying to tell the browser source you don't need it to go through a GPU. It can be handled normally and it usually takes away that mechanical sound. So that's pretty much it as far as the, the other settings are concerned. You wanna make sure when you do look, you do do that, you go to to add the plus sign here you add a browser source and you create the browser source refresh that browser source uh, link that you get from Streamlabs OBS and put it in give it a test and it should work just perfectly fine uh, that's usually all that is really needed to make sure that it doesn't sound robotic but if for those who are interested in learning more please put it in the comments below let me know what you guys think if we should do another tutorial in regards to how to add those browser sources to obs please make sure you click on that like button smash that subscribe button and hit those notifications to let you know when we go live next time but that's it as far as the tutorial is concerned hopefully this helps you guys as it helped me i was having some issues earlier and uh this video will help every everyone else so thank you guys so much again i'll see you for the next one